Continuing on the custom card review streak, we're going to be talking about a Dokkan Fest LR Moro, and it's coming in from Sam. But before I go ahead and read Sam's card, send me custom cards over to bhdevcustomcards.com so I get to your custom card as soon as possible while I'm getting all of these recent custom cards out the way. Sorry, guys, I'm just fixing my mic wire because for some reason, my tower always, like, it's always stuck up against my, my mic wire. It's weird weird it just always somehow finds its way to get pushed towards the side of my desk where it just keeps the wire in between the, the tower and the desk leg so um sam says making manga cards just makes me wish the anime could come back so we could get more cards this one should be fire and it's a moro okay let's see what we got here i think didn't he send us a granola was it granola I think, or is it somebody else? I don't remember. So, a uh, consumer of worlds, literally, Moro, and these are his stats. Okay, so high defensive stat, as well as a. Would that be, would that be a average LR stat, possibly? And his rarity, of course, is using in LR, and his typing is extreme SDR. His leader skill is power absorption. Uh, let me move myself over to the side, because I'm pretty certain that. Yeah, the document's like a little bit off to the right for the video. So, you just go. Power absorption. Space traveling warriors or super bosses. Three key and one at 70% across the board. And his additional, what's that? 30% of the stats is going to be to storied figures, realm of gods, and resurrected warriors. And he gets extreme STR, three key, and uh, what's that? One 70% of the stats. Of course, excluding uh, characters that are on power absorption, space traveling warriors, and super bosses. And of course, we have the link to his 200% leader skill. Of course, W Sam. Uh, and he has Jiren, Feet Beerus. He has Zamasu. Who would be the linking partner that you would sit him uh, next to? Can I just skip on over to his links? He has Fierce Battle, Legendary Power, Master of Magic. Makes a lot of sense for Moro. Uh, Nightmare makes sense. Brutal Beatdown absolutely makes sense because in the manga, he is doing just, it's disgusting. It's like JJK levels of, of beatdown. Now, uh, <laughs> you know, let's not get into JJK. Okay, Fear and Faith and Supreme Warrior. Bro, who are you sitting this guy next to with uh, Nightmare, Brutal Beatdown, Fear and Faith, Supreme Warrior? It's like, it's like Nightmare, Fear and Faith, you can give us some of these Goku Black units, uh, Zamasu units most likely. Um, but bro, his, his links are not that great. It's, it's just not. He does not have great length. So I don't know who you sit this guy next to. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. He has a very... I don't know. This this 200% leader skill is a little a little funky. Of course, you have physical Goku Black. Um, now, granted, this guy's a orb changer. Would he work well right next to this guy? Maybe he could work with uh, physical Rosé, too. If he's, a per if he's a slot one orb changer, maybe he could work with Rosé? <laughs> uh, anyways... Let's see what this guy's doing. So his 12 key, that being, uh, okay, there's no name to it. So his 12 key, he stacks defense and gains 50% attack for four turns. Very nice. While having a 50% chance to seal and greatly lowering attack and defense. Now, granted, a chance to seal is not all that great. But if you combo that with the fact that he is greatly lowering attack, then I guess it makes a whole lot of sense to go that route. He has a strong 12 key uh, combination of super attack effects. In his 18 key super, he stacks attack and defense and gives extreme class allies 40% attack and defense for two turns. <laughs> so um, he's essentially stacking on both of his 12 and 18 key super attack effects while being able to attack debuff, have seal chance, and support. So yeah, good super attack effect combinations. Um, so his passive. He activates interest animation when the, there is one or more super bosses category allies on the team. Very easy to get off considering the fact that he is leading the category. And he gives all allies two key and 37% attack and defense for five turns from character's entry turn. And do keep in mind that this card is supporting extreme class characters with 40% attack and defense on its 18 key super attack effects. Okay, so do, dual support from his super attack effect to his passive. Of course, that pay from his interest animation buff. And he also gets 150% attack and defense at the start of turn. And he gets an additional 150% attack and defense when attacking. Nice, considering the fact that he is stacking. So attack and defensive buff from his past to his super attack effect. Just that, guys, you, you hear that every video. <laughs> and he is also uh, keeper keys are obtained, not type keys are obtained, just keeper keys are obtained. Nice. And he also gets 30% attack and defense up to 180% with each attack received. That should be off the top of my head. I think that's six attacks. I think that's six attacks. You just take six attacks and you easily build this up. I think. Just doing the just mental math. He also performs an additional attack 
that has a 50% chance to come a super attack when performing an attack. So he just has free uh, additional super attack chance, just nice. And he performs a guaranteed super for the rest of the battle when his character performs three attacks. So it's very easy to get off. That directly is going to help him. Uh, okay. So this guy just does his first super. You get uh, lucky and he just, of course, does additional super to stack his defense and gain 50% gain attack for four turns. It's like he can very easily get this. It's, it's so easy to get. That's the point I'm trying to make. He also randomly changes key spheres uh, to STR, of course, STR excluded, and he has a baseline 20% damage reduction, and he gets an additional 10% damage reduction within the same turn each attack performed. I do like that. And he nullifies key blast super attacks and gains 100% attack for once only. He only gets that 100% attack once only, but him, uh, wait, yeah. Okay, so key blast nullification. He starts out with 20% damage reduction as well as building up additional 10% of each attack performed in the same turn. I do like that. Um, he could do two supers in his passive. So he could do up to four plus supers in the turn, as well as getting keeper keys are obtained. He just takes up to six hits to build up all that attack and defense while getting an attack and defense above from his passive to a super attack. Like he is a stacker. He looks solid. He's also a good support giving two key and 37% attack and defense for five full turns, as well as him giving extreme class characters 40% attack and defense two turns. He's, he looks solid. Absolutely. He looks pretty solid. Okay, so let's see what the uh, active skill is looking like. So active skill absorbs, mirrors, and transforms into Moro, that being Moro, mirrors, uh, absorbed. And the active education is just the fifth turn for start of battle. Okay. Now his categories... Power Absorption, Super Bosses, Corona Body and Mind, Space Traveling Warriors, Inhuman Deeds, Story Figures, Resurrected Warriors, Planetary Destruction, Emphasis on the Planetary Destruction, uh, and Roma Gods, Dragon Ball Seekers, and Battle of Fate. And I've already read out his links, so we're just going to go ahead and skip over that. So, Moro, Mirus Absorbed, I'm going to assume that this part of his card is ob obnoxiously broken. Like, he looks good in his base form. Looks good, looks solid. But, brother... I'm already known because if you're if you see a character stacking in both of his super attack effects and then he gets to transform, you know what's coming next, guys. <laughs> okay. So it's new 12 key, he gains 50% attack and defense for one turn while getting a additional 10% chance to dodge for one turn. Okay, so he gets free dodge for one turn, just additional 10%. And his 18 key super, which looks absolutely loaded, a hundred percent attack for three turns while massively lowering attack and defense on the enemy and he gets an additional 10 percent chance to dodge so if he double supers that's 20 percent chance to dodge uh, just on top of whatever dodge chance he has in his passive because i haven't got to it yet okay so his passive he has guaranteed dodge okay and all enemies target this character for one turn from character sentry turn so guaranteed dodge and all attacks are directed at him I'm not even going to read the rest of this card yet, but that first line is far and away the strongest thing about this card's post-transformation. Wait, he's not a transformation boost. It's not a transformation, right? His little absorption thing, excuse me. Uh, his This is the most powerful thing about his little absorption. Okay, easily, like, he guaranteed dodge while being able to direct all attacks at his character just after popping his active skill is stupid strong ridiculously strong okay he also gets 200 percent attack and defense at the start of turn and he gets an additional 150 percent attack defense on attacking nice and he has a baseline 50 percent chance to dodge nice and he also gets an additional 50 percent attack and defense per attack performed within the same turn nice you can just build up attack and defense within the same turn just to hit much harder and he also performs of course while well, also being tanky and he performs an additional attack that has a 70 percent chance to come a super attack when performing an attack Nice, so just free additional super attack chance. Two key per key to obtain. He becomes a rainbow orb changer. He also gives extreme class characters two key and 40% attack and defense for one turn when his character obtains five or more key spheres. But do keep in mind, he's a rainbow orb changer, so we can easily get that. And when the domain absorbed earth is activated, which is why I said emphasis on the planetary destruction category that he's on. Uh, where were we at? Yeah, when the domain absorbed earth is active, this character gains an additional 77% attack and defense, and he performs a guarantee super and gives all allies one key and 66% attack and defense. Okay, so, um, for the domain, right, uh, 
Within the domain Absorb Earth, he disables enemy dodge, canceling effect, and Pure Sands category allies and enemies get their attack and defense debuff by 15%, and the activation condition can be activated starting from the following turn after character's entry turn. So, of course, after that guaranteed dodge turn that he gets, which is stupid strong, this guy just can just pop his domain straight away. And uh, his active skill, of course, within uh, his absorption, Master Ray's attack temporarily and does Meg Colossal damage to all enemies, and it can be activated when the domain absorbed Earth is up. So not only, guys, not only can this card, fifth turn, let's say your fifth turn, and you're in his pre-absorption. You go into his absorption of Mirrors, and uh, this guy has guaranteed dodge and directs all the enemies' attacks to him for one turn. Then he comes back on the rotation, you pop his domain, he disables dodge canceling effects, as well as debuffing Pure Saiyan's uh, enemies and allies attack by 15% attack and defense, of course, all right? Then within his domain, which of course his domain is ridiculously strong because he's giving all allies one key and 66% attack and defense. And if you are a extreme class character, you get an additional two key and 40% attack and defense for him just obtaining five key spheres. And do keep in mind, he's a rainbow orb changer. Um, and of course, obviously within the domain, Outside of us just talking about that, oh, guarantee super, by the way, and additional attack and defense. This guy also gets an active skill within the domain that does mega colossal damage while master race attack temporarily. And do keep in mind also, on his ATQ super, he's master race attack for three turns and still attack debuffing. Not to mention, this guy also has a attack and defensive buff from both his passive to a super attack effect. This guy has a 50% chance to dodge, but if he double supers, he can get up to a 70% chance to dodge. Two keeper keys are obtained, rainbow orb changer, additional super attack chance, as well as guaranteed super built into him. He has everything. Just about. He's just missing guard, damage reduction, and maybe a scouter, but he doesn't need that. He doesn't. He just doesn't need that. Um, strong card. Um, is this card missing anything? Probably not. Uh... I feel like the one issue with this card is that his links are quite ass. Uh, his links change? Yeah, he gets BBB from Supreme Warriors. That is definitely a huge upgrade, for sure. Um, yeah, his links aren't that great. Like, BBB is easily his best link. Absolutely. Outside of Legendary Power and Fierce Battle, which is standard links for cards like this. Uh, of course, for LRs. Uh, BBB is his best link. Easily. Far and away. Uh, his biggest problem was his link set. Straight ass. Outside of BBB and his post absorption. But the thing is, is that he gets two key per keys to obtain and rainbow orb changes. So that fixes the issue. And aside his pre-absorption, he's already key per keys are obtained. All right? And also changing orbs to SDR. All right. Pre and post absorptions, strong. Category versus 200% skills, not really all that crazy. It's like Jiren, nice. Zamasu, maybe would you throw Zamasu in there? I would say nice. Um... Who else? Who else? Who else? Physical Goku Black, full Super Bosses team, if you want to go for it, because this guy does lead Super Bosses, I'd say go for it. Um, I mean, Boo, not a Super Boss, but if you're not going for a full Super Bosses team, then I guess throw him on there, because he's obviously good. Um, outside of that, like, exchange Boo, you could probably do a rotation between these two guys, but you really want double morals on each rotation. 200% this guy's not really all that crazy. There's only a select few duos you can go with, but outside of that, his 200% this guy's not really all that crazy, and yeah, that's it, and his link set sucks card's good card is pretty good that's that's all i gotta say uh sam thank you for sending your card uh i appreciate you guys watching you guys the best send me custom cards over to vhf custom cards at gmail.com so get to your custom card as soon as possible i'm getting all these recent custom cards out the way that's about it i gotta go ahead and record this unit review peace